Hello and welcome to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we are going to cover big relation and its data type. So let me clean out the screen. So what exactly is the there are data types available in the big Latin? If I would divide into things like big Latin data types. So there are two types of data in at the upper level we can say scalar data types which is a you will find in most of the languages and the second is a complex data type we will focus on the complex data types over here because others you might aware like this is int float uh, then char array which represents somewhat similar to string and I, this is available as a by default and the next complex data type i would say this is uh, tuple and next is the bag and third is the map so we'll discuss this data type so again let me clean out the screen first and so now here we are going to discuss into the like whenever you work on the pig latent script okay so pig latent script always works on the relations so what exactly is relation over here let me tell you so let's go to the first like i have an employee object so my complete file is contain the employee data and each row so like this is the whole file okay this is employee file and each row represent three fields and these three fields are name age and their salary so this is individual field okay so collection of the fields like this name would be like i would say john age would be 26 and salary could be 26 thousand dollars so this is one tuple this is called tuple and this is equal to the row object in the rdbm similarly collections of tuples so like i would have another uh, alvin as a field which has 28 years days and salary is $32,000 okay this is our tuple so the collections of the tuple is called back okay and uh, this tuple could be like uh, this field are ordered field in the one tuple but tuple could have lesser field as well like it is not necessary it could have the same field as the, the previous uh, row so like i would say like this is uh, mike another uh, employee which has just age component and salary is not uh, confidential and this information is not available in this file that is possible so this could won't have three fit and it is also possible your four tuple would like uh, kevin okay which has age is 32 salary is thirty two thousand dollar and it add phone number is also given over here something kind of thing so this tuple so this could be like this all bigger uh, like variation of the tuples but the collection of tuples is called the back okay so this is what exactly the field then tuple and then bag and the, the bag is represented using the this curly braces over here and tuple is represented by this normal braces which we use it so now what what is the relation then okay so so whenever big big latent script works it works on the relation as we have discussed so relation is nothing it's just outer container to the bag so this is your bag and this is the outer container which is called relation so whenever big script has to work or do the some operation like filter operation group by operation order by operation anything so this has to be in the relations okay so and even uh just what i would say like from directly using the bag literally you cannot create a relation kind of thing suppose you have this kind of tuple 1 comma 2 and 3 comma 4 so this this is one bag correct because this has two tuples and if you try to assign into the bag big script this a equal to something this then it will fail because directly in the peak it doesn't work on the 
uh, that uh, what I would say back it, it requires a relation so relation has to be created out of this and the best way to relation to create the relation is actually you load this data from the file and then pig has to work on this data which is loaded from the file then only it will work and second thing if you want to refer this field like this is by default if this is a relation now let's assume this is a is a relation which is created from the file now you want to uh, refer this particular field which is like in big script that is referred as a dollar zero and if you assign b equals to a dot this is a and dot is the accessing operator for over here dollar zero this would represent first field so it, it it is again say like you are trying to access individual field out of this and it is not still a relation okay so it, it is also it will also not work it will also fail because this is not the correct syntax of using this uh, the way if you are thinking to use it okay so so now question is here how how i would use it suppose this is a relation and i wanted to do these things actually so what exactly so so to work on this relation you have to use the big script and which is like for suppose this is a relation this is collection of uh, tuples this is a back so what we can do it for each operator within the big latin which will say for each will work on the each tuple out of this a okay for each of the a relations generate dollar zero okay so what exactly do it pick up the first dollar zero value and will assign b so the, the statement become will b equals to for each a generate dollar zero okay so this way you can actually create a new relation out of this this is called exactly uh, like working on the relations in the big latin and the next another data type is like complex data type is a map data type so it is similar to the other the language this is key separated by hash and this is called value so this is another data type into the big latin so always keep in mind whenever big has to work on it will always work on the relations okay so now let's uh, move to the act things where uh, okay so now thanks for listening on hadoopexam.com this is part of uh, like the problem solutions approach so and uh, as a hadoop exam we are providing three solutions uh, three services like hadoop training which is 15 module training which from hadoopexam.com you can see the detail in detail this is recorded training so as many times you can you want to watch it and you can uh, go through it and which also includes some hands-on session so this is regarding hadoop training and for the if you are going for the certification of like either cloud era or hadoop uh, sorry hot and work certification we have developer simulator which contains 200 practice questions which covers complete syllabus and we also provide some revision notes with this uh, developer simulator and if you are going for administration part so you can also consider the administration simulator which contains 240 questions and in future we will be delivering like edge based simulator which is, is still not yet completed we are working on this and which would have like uh, practice questions on the edge based certification so thanks for listening